What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to work with a list view. We'll see how to populate a list view from an array list, okay? So this is right here, C Sharp. C Sharp is our programming language. And then we are working with C Sharp Windows Forms, okay? So specifically, a list view. So let's get started. So first, go ahead and then create a console application, okay? So we'll, we're starting from scratch, so rather than creating, rather than using the Windows Designer, we're going to use the console. So just create a console application. Then once you've done that one, first and foremost, you're going to specify uh, the namespace. Now it is this namespace that's going to host our class. So let's view our list is my namespace. Then inside it, we'll have a static class that we're calling program. Now then we're going to add some imports. These are the some of these imports you're going to make use of them okay then having added our imports then we're going to have a static field that you're calling my list view of type list view then we're going to come right here and we're going to have this method called setup list view as the name suggests this method will be responsible for first instantiating our list view as you can see we instantiate it set the location property the size property of the list view then the view property now in the view you can see that you are setting the view dot details as the type of view that our list view is going to render then the full row select we're going to mark it to true and then the alignment list view alignment dot snap to grid then we're going to add the name column and give it the width of 100 we'll add the category column give it 150 then distance give it 150 as well now we're going to listen to the item selection changed events for our list view. So my list view dot item selection changed. Then we're going to register an event handler. So let's come create the event handler. The event handler is taking in an object which is our sender, as well as a list view item selection changed event tags object. So inside the event handler, first we'll check if e dot is selected. If an item is selected, then we're going to say list view list view item equal to e dot item we get the item the list view item then we get it sub item the first sub item which in this case is going to be the name okay and then we show it in a message box next we're going to have this method called populate data the populate data is going to be responsible for creating our data sources so our first data source of course is an array list of nebulas so we instantiate it then using collection initializer, we'll set the data to our data source. Then the second one is the nebula category, which will be rendered in the second column in our list view. So array list nebula category equal to new array list. Then we come and then add the nebula categories in our nebula category array list. Now this will be the second column. The third column we're going to generate random integers so we'll come and say random r equal to new random so of course having the one then we come and say for each string nebula in nebula we're going to look through our nebulas then we add we instantiate for each iteration we instantiate a list view item then pass it inside the add method so inside the add uh, inside the list view item constructor we'll pass in an empty array right here an array now in the first this array will first pass in our columns the first column is the nebula the second one is the nebula category we'll be choosing them randomly okay so we pass in r dot next which will be choosing from us uh data randomly a string then we convert it to string then of course the last column will be choosing between 9 and 999 uh, random integers and convert it to string and showing us the distances now just with, the, with this next method know that the last one right here the last of this particular range is exclusive so in this case we'll just consider 0 to 4 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so it's 0 is inclusive the last one 5 in this case is exclusive the same to this one so having done that one we'll come create this static method called create metro form or create form in fact so create form form my form equal to new form 
then we set the text property of the form then hold the title then we set the client size property then we set the background color of the form then we'll add the little list view to our controls property of our form then we'll enable the visual styles of the form then application dot run we pass it to my form then public static void main then inside the main method right here first we'll set up the list view then secondary we'll populate data and thirdly we'll invoke the create metro form okay so that will do for us right there create metro form so that's it guys then we come proceed over and run the project right so if we run the project this is what we're getting right here as you can see if we click an item we're able to show it we have of course our list view with name category and distances okay in c sharp windows forms so this is it right here go ahead subscribe to our channel programming users tv like this video share it and make sure you also check the source code we're going to post it in our website campusha.info otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class